What's up everyone, Adam from Cape Crawlers, and today we're installing the brand new Fury Tech brushless system in our Axial AX24. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're revisiting our AX24, our modified AX24. We've got the brand new Fury Tech Micro Komodo brushless setup for this thing, and I'm so excited for this for a bunch of different reasons. One is that the brushless systems from Fury Tech are just awesome. It's going to take this thing to a whole nother level. But more importantly, it's really going to solve a bunch of issues that I've been having with this thing. Now, you'll probably notice that after I did that first modification video on this, I haven't featured it much on the channel. And that's because I've been really having some serious binding issues in the front end here. Every time I'm at full steer, it feels like something in the chassis or in the drivetrain is bound up almost solid. I have to be half, three quarters throttle before I can get this thing to move. And then it jumps. So it's virtually impossible to slow crawl it during any technical situations, which is really frustrating. So I actually, I tore this thing down to nuts and bolts. I undid every mod that we did in that video and I could not pinpoint the issue. What I found out it was, was the stock ESC. After I modified this thing, I don't know if it was just too much weight or too, or too much load from the servos, I have no idea, but whatever it was, the binding issue that I was experiencing was coming from the electronics. So when I put in a fly sky and a lizard ultimate that I had, the problem was completely fixed. So the electronics on this thing were really, really holding me back. So now we've got the Fury Tech system, which is going to solve all of this. We're going to completely replace the electronics. This can work with your stock ESC. The big benefits to the Fly Sky system is that you can trim the rear servo, which I still have yet to figure out a way to do with the stock receiver and transmitter combo. If you know of a way, please chime in down below because there are a lot of people that could really benefit from that information. But let's not waste any time. Let's jump in. I want to demonstrate on the course exactly what I was experiencing with the binding issues. I've put this thing back to stock so we can check it out. So let's jump in. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. All right, let's take a look at this thing on the course. So I've got it back to stock ESC here. It's going to be tough to tell, but I mean, just in this, I've got full steer. You get almost half throttle before it can move. See, I just have no power. That's almost full throttle there now. See, and then it lurches ahead. Super frustrating. And also, the noise that the ESC makes, that whining noise, is just so obnoxious. I have the microphone pointing towards me. I can turn it around so you can experience it, what I'm experiencing. I turn this around so you can hear it. It's a good example, like watch my throttle here. So frustrating. Figure while we're here, might as well do our benchmark runs. Oh, that was a tough one. The shoot's an easy one, but we'll give it a shot anyway. And finally, Hell's Gate. I said no slow crawl. You know, trying to get up these technical lines. It's so jumpy. It's just so, so challenging and frustrating. Oh, I 
I just don't have the slow crawl there, man. Try again. Whoa, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could make it. So just for the heck of it, here is the Lizard Ultimate with the Fly Sky set up here. I've got my GT5 set up here. It's ready to go. Hear that? You shouldn't because there's nothing to hear. It is whisper quiet. Not only is it whisper quiet, look at the slow crawl ability of this thing. It has near brushless capability just with the ESC and receiver upgrade. Now the Lizard could work with the stock ESC and I didn't try it, not because of the noise, but because what you get with the FlySky setup is that you can trim the rear servo, which is why I highly recommend changing out the transmitter at the same time. See, I can toggle to my channel three, right here and then I can with my wheel here I can trim out the rear servo so I finally got it straight so this is a huge one 73 bucks for this combo well worth it highly recommend it so that you can adequately take care of this thing so we've identified the root cause of our binding issues as the ESC we've thrown in a lizard to act as our external ESC, put in the FlySky receiver, solved our issues. We could easily leave well enough alone, right? But that's not what we do here. We gotta tear it down further. We gotta take it to the next step. Cause that's what we do here. We mess with everything. So let's take this to the next level. We're gonna throw in the Fury Tech system now. There should be a pretty simple bolt on. Let's open this thing up and look at the pieces in here. There are some unique features to the AX24 kit. I wanna take a look at these before we get to the install. So let's dive in and check it out. Fury Tech, loving the upgrades from Fury Tech. I'm waiting for this one. Let's look at our ESC here. Should be our lizard. Looks like a skid plate in here as well. Here is our lizard. So it's just a black box, no logo, no branding or anything on this just a box looks like the capra setup almost just a little bit smaller imagine that this is just a typical lizard pro boxed up in here we also have the skid plate yes so the motor plate and skid plate for the ax24 is a unique feature from this kit this is aluminum here is our micro komodo right here pinion gear pressed on and our motor mount so we did not get the stellar transmission with this this kit just comes with the aluminum motor mount it's going to use the stock transmission we're going to bolt the motor right up to the stock drivetrain through this mounting setup here so i did confirm that this is just your typical micro komodo the kv and all that is the same I just wanted to confirm that before I went any further, but I did just match it up against my other builds that had the Micro Komodo in it. So it is the same motor that we're used to. This is a great motor. Love this setup. So this is going to be great in this build. As always, Fury Tech components are just great to look at. The red anodized aluminum with the unfinished edges, carbon fiber trim, just gives it a great high performance look, very high quality. So these are our parts. Let's not waste any time. Let's start taking this thing apart and then we will throw in the brushless combo and see how it does. Just wanted to pause real quick during the installation because I noticed some differences in the skid plates here. So the vast difference here, the axial is actually much flatter. This is the brass skid plate from axial that I took out of the AX24. Here's the FuryTech system. So if you can see that, the Fury Tech actually drops the motor down, not significantly, maybe two or three millimeters-ish, I would say, 
but it's going to drop that skid plate down to make room for that motor, which is interesting. I didn't even know that's how this was set up. When I took this apart, the slots for the motor and the bolts looked the same, so I thought maybe I can just reuse my brass skid plate because this is an aluminum, it's much lighter. But I'm not going to be able to because I can see this was lowered to make room for the different size motor. So I just thought that was interesting, wanted to share with you guys. It also shifts the position of the motor around. So if you can see that as well, where the stock motor was more off to the side, the Micro Komodo is going to sit more in the middle. So if you're going to do this combination, you're going to throw a brushless motor in here with the stock chassis. Definitely going to need this upgraded skid plate from Fury Tech. Looks like it's a motor specific setup here. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I'm going to roll on with the installation now. Here we are, good to go. Brushless motor install. It was pretty pretty simple. You know, these kits go together really well. The parts fit so good together. Didn't take me long at all, maybe about 35 minutes-ish, I would say. Would have been a lot quicker, but I put the motor in backwards. Having a servo at each end kind of confused me on which end was front. But otherwise, it was very simple. Skid plate bolted right up in there. It is lower, you know, this is gonna be interesting to see if this has any impact on clearance or anything like that. Also, since it's aluminum, we did lose some weight, so I'm not sure what this is gonna to do to performance. That brass skid plate was pretty heavy, so we'll see if this has any negative impact on our crawling ability. I'm hoping that we do get good performance gains just by virtue of having better control and more power and smoother power delivery. But in any case, the kit is in there, the motor fit perfectly, it has plenty of clearance in there it looks great front facing you know we have that outrunner motor right there in the front we're gonna be able to see that thing spinning up space age style like we like it very cool great kit so why don't we fire this thing up i did already get into the fury car app make sure everything was good firmware was up to date it is ready to go so let's try it out That's what we want right there. Man, this thing is going to be a beast. Once again, whisper quiet in there. Motor makes a little more noise. That micro Komodo is just snappy and aggressive anyway. It does have a little more of a whine. Plenty of pep. You can slow that thing down to nothing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Never gets old, I'm telling you. I geek out over these things every time we do a brushless conversion. It is just as good as the first. Still get so excited every time I do it. All right. I'm pumped. This is exciting. Let's get this thing on the course. We'll see how it does on the challenge lines and the course in general. Let's check it out. Here we go. Brushless system in the AX24. Before we do real quick, I had someone ask me on Instagram to do a quick rundown of how the four wheel steering works on the Fly Sky. So just super quick how this works. In your menu, we're just going to use the wheel. We're going to go down to crawl mode here. I'm going to hit enter. These are our modes here we can toggle. So A is your front steering only. You turn the wheel, you can go to rear steer. C is going to give us opposite phase. And then D, same phase for our crab walk here. So that's just real quick. It is, you're able to do it one-handed it is a little tricky but nonetheless that's how you do it on the fly sky proportional steering very easy love this setup 
Now, let's get into this thing. See that brushless Outrunner in the front there poking out. See it spinning up? I love it. This is what we needed so, so badly. Got a passenger there on my tire. These grippy Swamp Kings taking my course with it. Slow crawl is fantastic. The setup makes next to no noise. All you get is the Komodo when it winds up. What a huge, huge improvement in this build, I gotta say. I was so discouraged with this thing. You guys don't even know. There we go, this thing's a monster now. One thing that I, I noticed after I was going over the Fury Tech components here was that there is no Bluetooth dongle that comes with the kit, yet it is a Bluetooth compatible, look at that thing, holy cow. It is a Bluetooth enabled ESC, so the Lizard Pro has the Bluetooth built into that black case, which is nice, so you don't have the dongle hanging around, it's a nice clean setup, but you're able to do all of the functions with the Fury Car app via Bluetooth. Oh, I'm in love with this thing again. So good. I'm so happy to have this thing operating the way that I knew that it could and should. This is what we needed. Even if you don't do the full brushless upgrade, I highly, highly recommend doing the ESC upgrade. Just a game changer. I okay, got another passenger there. crawls so well, what a difference. Well, we're here at the escalator. Let's dig into it here. Let's see if losing weight from that skid plate hurt us or if we'll make it up with the superior powertrain here. See with that slow crawl, we're able to pick a line, stick right to it. There's no understeer. Get up it nice and smooth. That's what we want. And we know the shoot's not going to be any type of challenge, but give it a shot anyway. Perfect. Hell's Gate. Now we'll see if we can really capitalize on that control, pick some good lines, and get up here nice and smooth. Started to get a little bit of understeer there. We're able to stick the line though with that slow crawl. Got the grip on there. Perfect. Now that wasn't a very fast run. I still had to be pretty strategic with my line choices there. So if you've seen some of my other hardcore builds, you know they can fly right up this thing. This, I still need to mess with the suspension and the chassis to get it sorted out a little bit more. I think once we get the front end dialed in, that was a pretty good one. Once we get the front end dialed in, I think this will be a monster. 
So I am so stoked with this right now. Not only did we make it up all our challenge lines super easy on the first try, it just performs so well. And that slow crawl is just what we needed with this thing to really shine. Oh, so good. Look at that. is that's what we love about this thing All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll give you my final thoughts in just a second, but I am so pumped with this thing. Final thoughts on the brushless system for the AX24. Man, I am so ecstatic to have this kit in this build. Not only did it solve all of the issues that I was having with the stock electronics, it really upgrades this thing, takes it to a whole different ball game, whole different level here. Just a huge step forward in the power and control in this thing and really lets us capitalize on the functionality of this thing with all the articulation and the four wheel steering just unlocks a lot of the potential that was trapped by those horrible stock electronics. So getting rid of that, I think, is fantastic. Even if you don't do the brushless system, highly recommend that you scrap that stock ESC and upgrade it to something that's better functioning. No complaints from me on the system or the kit. Yeah, I was a little concerned about that skid plate, how it drops the skid plate down, and we also shed some weight going to the aluminum from the brass. I didn't notice any loss in performance. I think we gained tremendous amount of performance just because we're able to stick better lines with the brushless system, utilizing that slow crawl in the grip, letting these Swamp Kings do their thing. It just really allows the chassis to do what it's really capable of. Overall, just a great kit, and I'm really happy with it super super happy with it at the time of this recording this system is available for pre-order it is 134.99 from fury tech i will put the links in the description down below for the fury tech components we used here as well as the fly sky gt5 transmitter and receiver combo that i use so let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of the ax24 in this build now it has come a long ways with this upgrade I'm still working on the budget build. That will come very soon. I do owe you guys the budget build on the AX24. We will be doing that very, very soon, I promise. So that's coming right up. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next video.